um, um, in my perspective, I am, I am nothing. I am. Too, I consider myself to be too low than to deserve to have ten verses revealed in the Quran concerning me. Who I am? I'm less than that. She's so proud. She's very happy that verses were revealed from Allah for the honor of Aisha. And now there are verses revealed to the Prophet ﷺ for the honor of Ka'b bin Malik. He said, from you, O Prophet, or from Allah? He said, no, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ka'b said, وَكَانَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم إِذَا سُرَّ اسْتَنَارَ وَجْهُهُ حَتَّى كَأَنَّ وَجْهَهُ قِطْعَةُ قَمَرُ When the Prophet feels happy, becomes happy, his face becomes just like a piece of a moon, a golden, shining gold, shining, shining golden piece that you can see coming out of his face. I just thought it was so. Then when I sat down before the Prophet said, Oh Prophet, among the things that I do usually when I repent to Allah is that I throw a part of my money, a part of my property for the sake of Allah and His Messenger. Then the Prophet said, Amsik alayka ba'da malik fahuwa khayrun lak. Keep some of your money with yourself. It is better for you. He said, O oh Prophet, I still have my share in Khaybar. I can give it. Then he said, O oh Messenger of Allah, certainly Allah had saved me by truthfulness, by speaking the truth. And among the pledge that I give with repentance I, ha I give today is that I keep speaking the truth as long as I still alive. He said, Wallahi, I haven't seen any of the Muslims that he was troubled, tested, tried with speaking the truth except in me. I didn't see it with anyone else but I was tested. And everyone among us brothers we are tested. You may be tested by your children. You may be tested by certain event that passes by passes with you. You have to know that Allah who tested Ibrahim, Allah who tested Adam, Allah who tested the messenger, He's testing each one of us. We are prone to tests in our life. Either we Either we pass or we fail. He said, I promised Allah after this test that I never speak any lie unless I die. And I asked Allah to help me keeping my promise. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed those verses, the following verses. Allah has forgiven the Prophet and the Muhajireen and the Ansar who left their homes and came to Medina. And who followed the Prophet ﷺ in his time of distress after the hearts of a party of them had nearly deviated from the path. But he accepted their repentance. Certainly he is unto them full of kindness, most merciful. And regarding the three who did not join, who lacked, that means from Tabuk, from the battle, until, until for them the earth vast as it is was straightened, and their own selves were straightened to them. And they perceived that there is no fleeing from Allah, is there's no way to flee from Allah but to Allah. There is no one that when you fear Him, you run to Him except Allah. Everyone that you fear Him, you flee from Him except regarding the case of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you fear Allah, you flee to Allah, not from Allah. And they perceive that there is no fleeing from Allah and no refuge but with Him. Then he, beg, uh, then he forgave them, that means accepted their repentance, that they might beg for his pardon 
Verily, Allah is the one who forgives and accepts repentance. Most merciful. Oh, you who be after that, after that, look what Allah said. Oh, ya ayyuhalladhina amanu, taqu allaha wa kunu ma'as sadiqeen. Oh, you who have believed, fear Allah and be with the truthful ones. I remember one Shia, his name is Tijani. Have you heard of that guy, Tijani? Tijani, you have heard? He has a book called, Then I Was Guided. Have you heard of that? Look, 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 look. He calls himself, he calls his book, Then I Was Guided. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was addressing to the companions the following. فَإِنْ آمَنُوا بِمِثْلِ مَا آمَنْتُمْ بِهِ فَقَدْ اِهْتَدَوْا Allah is saying to the companions, if people believed in the same of what you companions believe in, then they are guided. Now this, this guy had written a book, I was guided, titled as, I was guided, then I was guided, and he was slandering and muhajirin and al-ansar. So, was he guided? <laughs> he wrote another book. لِأَكُونَ مَعَ الصَّادِقِينَ لِأَكُونَ مَعَ الصَّادِقِينَ He said, the, the book title, titled as To be with the truthful ones To be with the truthful ones Let's see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said لِلْفُقَرَاءِ الْمُهَادِرِينَ الَّذِينَ أُخْرِجُوا مِنْ دِيَارِهِمْ وَأَمْوَالِهِمْ يَبْتَهُونَ فَضْلًا مِّنَ اللَّهِ وَرِضْوَانًا وَيَنْصُرُونَ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ أُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الصَّادِقُونَ As for those poor who immigrated because they were driven out of their homes and properties they seek bounty from Allah and the pleasure of Him those are the truthful ones but he's, this guy is slandering the Muhajireen and the best among the Muhajireen is Abu Bakr and Umar. His book what? what what's, what's the title of his book? To be with? To be with the truthful. But he is slandering the truthful people whom Allah had given testimony that they are the truthful. So what is your testimony to this man? Is he one of the Sadiqeen or he's one of the liars? As they say in the hard part, liar! Have you heard of the, that guy who shouts in the Hyde Park? <laughs> liar! <laughs> so this Tijani is a liar. He's a liar. That is the testimony. Because those who testify that the Muhajireen and Al-Ansar are guided and truthful, they must give their testimony that he is a liar. And not guided. Don't forget those two verses. When someone mentioned the name of this guy, because his book was translated to more than 30 languages and widely distributed to the Muslim community to oust them from Islam. But keep them under the title of Islam without the fact of Islam. Don't forget those two, those two verses. فَإِنْ آمَنُوا بِمِثْلِ مَا آمَنْتُمْ بِهِ فَقَدْ اِحْتَدَوْا If people believed in the same of what you companions believed in, then they will be guided. Then they are guided. That's the first one. The second one, as for the poor immigrants who have been driven out of their homes, they seek Allah's bounty and they seek Allah's pleasure. And they support Allah and His Messenger. Those are the truthful ones. Who are those? Who are those? Muhajirin. Not only the companions. Who are those among the companions and Muhajirin? And who is the best two among the Muhajireen? Abu Bakr and Umar. Whoever speaks bad and slander Abu Bakr and Umar, he has no portion of Islam and he has no good to be expected from the Muslim world. That's it. And there is no bargaining. There is no compromise concerning Abu Bakr and Umar. Wallahi. Because you know why? They collected the Quran. If those, for, if those people who collected the Qur'an, they are not Muslims, they are heretic, they are etc. Then this is a slander to the Qur'an. So the non-Muslims will be coming and saying, well, who collected the Qur'an? Uh, Abu Bakr and Umar, but those...
إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا وسيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له جل عن الشبيه والمثيل والكفء والنظير وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه وخليله وخيرته من خلقه وأمينه على وحيه أرسله ربه رحمة للعالمين وحجة على العباد أجمعين أعظم المجاهدين ورأس الأبطال والشجعان صلى الله وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله الطيبين وأصحابه